there's some things peculiar about this planet that just should never be brought to light. You know, like maybe the grave of King Tut or uh, perhaps the deepest pit of the ocean that no one should ever journey to. Or family channels. Or crank channels. But as muscular as I am, uh, I only have the muscle to carry the weight of one in one YouTube video. Uh, and that weight that I'm carrying today that we are going to be looking at is a family channel who, you know, has 13 people in their family, which, you know, that's cool. You know, more people need to adopt because, you know, there are children that need homes and there's nothing wrong with that. However, the biggest thing that makes this YouTuber uh, controversial is her grocery hauls, which purely the amount of food that she buys is pretty insane. And you're going to understand why I say that. And then there's also the fact of what she buys for her kids, which would be sugary, you know, snacks or just trash in general. Like, I don't think I've ever watched a grocery haul where she bought vegetables. I think there was like one or two. Um, so, yeah, um, I just want to show you guys the pure amount of stuff that she buys and just uh, just give me my just give you my opinion on it. So to start off, the one that we are going to be looking at today, she essentially went on vacation, bought groceries for vacation, got groceries on vacation, I think twice. Then she comes home, she gets groceries, then she gets groceries again, like two days later. And now this is the one we're going to be looking at. And I'm pretty sure she gets groceries like a few days after this. So um, without further ado, let's take a good old gander. Also, whoever she brought with, I, I feel so bad for this man because, my God, she legitimately is like, oh, yeah, I, you know, I hurt my arm, it, whatever. You know, I was on vacation. I hurt myself. And so I brought, uh, brought one of my sons with me to help me and, uh, you know, can't really lift. It, this poor man stacks a whole pallet. Like, this dude is genuinely just, like, working in a warehouse, just, like, stacking all these heavy waters and stuff. I did warehouse work and it, it's just not it so you know I, I feel him on this all right so here's the first issue i guess i would say um we're already rolling up to the waters and you already know if this lady could go to the front of the store and just be like hey i want this forklift to t give me this pallet and just put it in the back of my car I think she would do that because I swear to God, just wait until you see how much she buys. All right, 40 packs, 7.99. Get a bunch of dolls. Oh my, you don't care about money. You do not care about money. By the way, this chick makes like, I don't know how much per year, but I would have to imagine close to a million. I could look up her social blade stats, but I just don't feel like it. And she has an EBT card. There's genuine homeless people out there. It genuinely makes me angry that somehow that that's a thing. That's why I've heard anyway. I don't know how true it is, but if that is true, that is absolutely fucking absurd. I'm just saying. And then, uh, however many of those you want, and then the sports caps are down there. All right, here we go. All right. It's quite a few you want to I, this man's good at tetris the way he stacks is beautiful when i worked in the warehouse they were like oh do you play tetris and i was like yeah it really does matter because um you know your palette needs to be even that way you can stack things on top of it why am i even talking about this i don't know man i i just work here i don't really work i, I whatever tetris -ing. he's good at tetris uh, is what i'm saying you know what did we get last time it's too early for you I love how he's like, I oh, mean, I don't know, probably 60 packs of water, you know, maybe 15 Gatorade packs of 20. Hey, shit, I don't know, man. We got, you know, we bought half the store last time, so I don't know. What are you referring to? Yeah. Six, yeah. Okay, so six times 40. 
That's that's what we're starting with, by the way. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're doing a base level. That's not what we're okay. finishing with. That's what we're starting with. It's good strategy. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a good strategy when you buy half the store to make sure you can stack properly. Like, I've seen videos where she has, like, 15 of these cards. And I'm not even exaggerating. I have to find them. I, I will cover them at some point, maybe. If I feel like it. I, I just felt like showcasing this. It's... it's Alright, so you kind of get the gist. I'm not going to let the video play out. Driving the knee. No, I don't want ads. Okay, so as you've seen, the whole base layer there is literally the regular cap. And then she rolls up to these. Uh, they're the sports caps, which, if you don't know, they're just kind of like, I don't know, they have a funny cap instead of the regular like bottle where you can just straight up drink from it and then they have a little lid lid that closes um the whole base layer of this cart is the regular water and then she's stacking and these are 24 packs by the way the whole base layer and even i can even tell that some of these are regular so those are 40 these are all 40 packs and then there's a whole layer and what he's putting on now of 24s that's just water they just started shopping. They just walked in the store in this her cart. We're five minutes in. I've seen videos where it's like an hour and a half, by the way. And it starts like this. That should be good. You think? Uh, that should be good. Yeah, I would probably imagine it would be, huh? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you say that'd be good? Yeah, that might last a week. Um, hold on, there's someone coming this way. Gatorade. Nah, that's fine. Just give me the whole pallet. I don't even care. All right, so those, these are 12 packs. Right, no, they're yeah. 20, 24 Red, packs. white, and blue Wait. packs. Uh-huh. At this and point, then, why don't you just open your own store? Um, Take... The red, white, and blue minis. Uh-huh. Okay. And the regulars. Yep. They just, just don't like the Just zeros. get 50 of each. It's the fine. Just, just pile them on. No, that's that. thirst puncher. That's those I honestly, those. I have no words. All right. Oh boy. Oh, there's the second card. <laughs> there it goes. All right. There's that. Let's see how many. I'm just gonna skip around because I don't feel like actually. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. So that's that's it. So that's all she got. Good. Uh, that's only a solid like hundred. I mean, it's, it's fine on top of the waters. You know, that, that's perfectly fine. I'm sure that's okay. it. That's it. Okay, that's it. So it's at the cheese sticks and As, strawberry. By the way, the amount of stuff she's getting, this is the smallest list I've seen on her channel, by the way. I'm not even kidding. This, this is literally the shortest amount of stuff she's ever gotten. I'm not kidding. I'll we'll just skip ahead. The dude, the, the, the fucking robot probably thinks it's a whole pallet of stuff right next to it. He genuinely is just like, oh, there's a pallet there. Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm not going the right way or whatever. Just because it's like so hard to tell because this dude has so much stuff. I can't, dude. I can't, <laughs> I can't push it. Like, I feel so bad for him, honestly. You can hear him like he's exhausted. I feel so bad i can't imagine unloading all of that where does this go by the way is this just like stacked on a pallet inside of their house like, genuinely where do you put all of that james isn't ready for robot interaction today um anyways we uh -huh. pop into the little market uh, okay. down the road from us so you're gonna pop into the little market down the road instead of you know so you're getting even more nice Understood. Shut up, State Farm. Let I don't care. Uh. So Bodhi is back to his Velveeta cups as his like top preferred food. He mm -hmm. has um, autism and sensory processing disorder and food aversion. And what? What in the fuck does that have to do with eating mac and cheese? Just going on YouTube like you know, my my son eats mac and cheese because he has autism and. You know, he has sensory issues. What? Why would you even say that? Why?
why is that a thing that you would just tell everybody? That's the biggest problem I have with this channel is like, just kind of outs her children and uses them for views, which is absolutely disgusting. I have always had that mindset, but I just don't understand. There's just some things in your life that need to be kept secret and, you know, not online. Because I can't imagine, like, if I ever grew up in a house where there was just constantly a phone camera in front of my face and stuff. But, you know, here she is just spilling out all the details of everybody in the home for no reason over mac and cheese. It's just, yeah, yeah, you know, he has autism, so I'm going to give him mac and cheese. Wait, <laughs> I can't. I, I genuinely can't. Like, that genuinely makes me angry. Like, you're adopting people... To just be like, yeah, they have this, they have this, they have this. You're giving their whole medical history for no reason onto the internet that people can use for whatever purpose. It's it's just, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a Karen, but I will always defend people. Like, you know, I don't understand the purpose of... Who, who watches this? I mean, watching the, the halls or whatever is, is one thing. You know, it's kind of like, hey, what, what does, you know, half an army eat or whatever. But I don't know. You know what? Whatever. I don't even feel like, you know, going through the rest of this video. It's, it's basically just, hey, let's get a bunch of candies and all this stuff. And she even shows her receipt. So her total is 1113.68. And she always buys, like, the bulk stuff you know, the bears and whatnot, and this, uh, this one's not too bad, um, just wanted to showcase those two moments, really, um, I may do more in the future, because you have to see the ludicrous amount of candy and junk food that she buys for her kids, but, yeah, that, that's basically about all I wanted to say, so, you know, see ya.